In this uh, video, I will explain how to set up a meeting using a Microsoft Copilot. So I'm Paul Kaisers. I help businesses with a Microsoft Copilot, SharePoint and Microsoft Teams uh, for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you will know everything you need to know to uh, start a meeting using Copilot. And yes, I directly jump into my browser because I have a Copilot open in my Outlook and I'm going to ask Copilot, uh, can we, can, can I schedule a meeting with Debbie uh, for, for next week? Uh, which days is be available? So this is a, a general question which I have when uh, setting up uh, meetings. Now uh, it directly comes back and says, uh, "Well, uh, you both have time uh, on Monday, eight thirty till nine. Uh, would you like me to schedule it?" Um, and I can even say, okay, send, and then uh, it's already uh, sent to Debbie. So this is really nice. But now what we want to do extra is we are going to invite somebody else. Uh, can you also invite Paul at KBWorks demos dot on Microsoft dot com? Um, is he also available at that time? So I'm asking if he is available and uh, what happens now is it opens an event form and uh, let's see what it's doing. So here we have the event form. It says uh, Paul and Debbie 101. So I want to change that of course. And uh, it already actually says uh, which dates are available. So here it says um, that uh, um, Debbie and I are available on these times. And this person only needs to say, okay, I can come and uh, it directly sends the message out. So I think this is really, really powerful. Um, because actually this is like find time uh, on steroids and I don't know if you ever used uh, find time before but that's also something nice so this is what I wanted to uh, show you um, and um, yeah let me know what you think about this uh, if this is going to speed up your co-pilot experience uh, I know it's a user experience but it's really fast uh, if you have emails, uh, you can also directly schedule uh, using the emails. Uh, it's a little bit different prompt, but I wanted to show you what's possible. So I hope uh, you like it. And um, if you like it, like it and subscribe to my channel and see you next time. If you want to see another video about Microsoft Teams, you can click on here and you can view it directly. Thanks for watching.